Hey UBC, happy Black History Month. All throughout the month of February, the Children's Ministry has been honoring a few of the many heroes who are a part of our community. These are individuals who make the world a better place simply through the work they do each and every day. Let's check out this week's spotlight. Hi, my name is Arik Ingram. I'm nine years old and I'm interviewing Miss Kim Person today. So, where are you from? I am from a small town um, here in North Carolina, Lumberton, North Carolina. How long have you been a worship leader at UBC? So it started out with me coming just to do a, a feature uh, with my good friend and brother Maurice Rogers. And I was like, I'm only was only coming to do one time. And that one time has turned into almost two years. So I've been a worship leader here at Union UBC for about two years. How long have you been singing? I've been singing since the tender age of two. I'll tell you this quick little story. My grandparents used to stand me on a cement block and let me minister to crowds. My favorite song during that time was Already Been to the Water. People used to come from miles around to see the little girl with the big voice. And I'm grateful that to this day, my cement block at two years old has turned into blocks and stages all across the country. Your songs have taught billboards. You've won many awards, including five stellar award nominations. What has that experience been like? It's been a lot of work, but one thing it proves to me is that God rewards faithfulness. And I'm grateful and thankful for my journey because it's all about Christ and it's all about believing in yourself. And that's one thing that I pride myself on is believing in myself because I know God has created me to sing and that's what I'm so excited to be able to do and to share my music ministry with people all around the world. Why do you think using our gift to honor God matters? It matters because we're special people and God has gifted each one of us with something special and music just does something to people. And I'm just glad to have an ingredient that of love through music that will help people to see themselves as God see them and encourage them on their journey. Who is your favorite gospel artist? Ooh, oh my goodness. I have so many. First I say me. I ain't gonna say that. But my favorite um, gospel artist is Yolanda Adams. She is one full of style, just finesse, and her voice is amazing. And I think she's one of the, the most anointed voices. So I would say Yolanda Adams. What do you love most about music? What do I love most about music? What I love most about gospel music is we can be all kinds of genre. We got um, country gospel, we got jazz gospel, we got traditional gospel, we got pop gospel, and it just bring, it just does so much for, for people. It brings love, encouragement, it inspires. So that's one of the reasons why I love gospel music and why I love music because it just brings such joy, inspiration, love to people. What is your favorite thing about Black History Month? It just brings unity and gives us all a moment to just reflect and to see we've invented a lot. We've done a lot. And I'm just grateful to be a part of Black History. What wisdom would you offer to children interested in the arts? Oh, my goodness. I'm sitting here with someone who is absolutely amazing. Y'all should give her a hand because she's doing an amazing job. I would say enjoy whatever it is that's in your heart. If you want to dance, dance. But when you dance, don't just dance because your mama said you do it, but do it with joy. Be excited about it. If you want to sing, whatever you want to do, just be excited about it because one day someone's going to pay you a lot of money to do that one thing that you took the time to practice, to work hard at. So I just say be your authentic self and just enjoy whatever arts bring you joy. I really like that, and thank you for the comment. You're welcome. Can you sing a quick line from your favorite song? Oh, she's just going to throw that in there just like that. Okay, all right, let me see what I can figure out here. I think I'll sing a hymn. Amazing grace shall always be my song of praise for it was
was grace that brought my liberty and I time today, Miss Kim Person. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <Woo> <laughs> UBC, would you help me celebrate Miss Kim Person and Dr. Brenda Mitchell, Coach D. Curtis Lawson, Dr. Anita Brown Graham, and our young interviewers, Harry Johnson, Bryson Mittman, Dorothy Davis, and Arik Ingram. Until next time.